Would you believe me if I told you I was insecure with who I was as a person and how I looked and then I became a substance abuser and then I turned my life around for the better and now I'm sober? Well, listen. So I know all around the internet you always see the new thing that's in and what's hot and this and that and 10,000 other things. Whole lot of this and that and just confusion. This video is explaining how to realistically glow up. We can go straight into it. The first thing is a skincare routine. You just go to the store and get your products and then you, that's it. And there you go. All right, now that the people that just were here for the skincare that think that's all it takes, they're out the way. Listen, it's gonna get real juicy, all right? So it's very in depth, but it's so simple. It just takes time and discipline. Hopefully the intro got you very interested because that's some real deal talk right there. Your first step, well, what you wanna do to becoming that person, like one of them ones, so to speak, First things first, you're gonna wanna have a morning and a night routine. That's the very first thing with becoming more appealing and more attractive to other people. I'll post a full in-depth morning or night routine sooner or later, but right now, morning and night routine. That is an investment into skincare products. So with that being said, you're gonna need your basics, moisturizer, all of these good things. You're gonna just need to invest in skincare because who doesn't wanna have nice skin? You go into skincare and then for the bros that's watching, get into grooming. So invest into, you know, a manscaping kit for below the waist and clippers for your face. And then next is getting a haircut or a hairstyle. So that's automatically gonna put you 10 points up on the board. You're confident with your haircut and your hairstyle, whatever the case may be. But finding one that really fits you as a person, that's gonna take you all the way there. And I don't really have to use hair products because I have locks, so I just use water. The main focus is getting in a routine. And with that routine, that goes into step number two. Step number two is eating healthy. So in the morning routine, breakfast is the most important meal of the day, hands down. I'm not on here to tell you guys scientifically proven facts, but that is a scientifically proven fact. Breakfast in the morning just makes you have a way better day. Like you're feeding yourself, you're feeding your brain, like you have food to function. I understand that every single day you'll be able to make breakfast, but try to at least. Next is water. I know that sounds so whatever, everybody always says drink water, but it's true. Your body is made up of like 70 something percent of water. In the mornings, if you would like to, lemon in your water, it's a great detox for the morning. <clears throat> They say you're supposed to drink a gallon a day. I know that might be above the room for a lot of people, but I don't measure it. I'm not into all the measuring and all of that other stuff. Like when you work out and they measure everything, I personally just don't do that. I just drink a lot of water and it helps my skin. And where you can get healthy foods, cause I understand the <laughs> groceries went up. If you do want to get groceries, you got to look into Whole Foods. So you can go to places like Trader Joe's, Little, Aldi's. Every single state has a Whole Foods grocery store. You just have to go find it. Number three on the list, the gym. If you can't get into the gym, exercise. And with exercise, you can go outside and take a walk. And with the gym and exercise, your body needs sun. You're literally a plant. You need water. You need to be fed. You need sun in order to grow and really blossom and look fabulous. Like photosynthesis, you literally need all that stuff to be able to really go ham. Like you want to walk in and people are like, oh my gosh, who is that? Yeah, you need these things. Get some sun, get some exercise. If you can't go to the gym, you can do at-home workouts. If you can't do at-home workouts, you're just, you're just being a lazy bum. Let's not do that. I was a lazy bum and that's why I was a substance abuser. But now I'm open enough to talk about my story. Pro gym rat, soon to be, feel me. Okay, so with gym and exercise, that's gonna take us to number four. The fourth step is the correct sleep. And so with sleep, that's gonna go with everything, the routine. I understand not every single day is the same day. If you really, really try, you can really, really get in a good habit and you'll see results. I promise you, if you sleep good, the reason a lot of people look so good and healthy is because you're working like a horse and I understand we have jobs, people work, but if you really can get it in and get enough sleep, if you can get up to eight hours of sleep, you're literally in the clear, like you're on phenomenal timing. If you can get good sleep, that's great. The next thing is body language. Roll them shoulders back, because I know your shoulders is a slouch right now. When you walk in places, you need to look confident. When you come in, you need to look confident in what you're wearing. That's just point blank, period. I'm not going to sit here and listen to somebody that doesn't look confident in what they're saying. And I'm not saying you have to be, you need to like look, oh my gosh. I'm saying body, like posture as in your body language. It's not hard to read body language. When somebody's talking to you and you just sitting there like this, 
That's body language as opposed to somebody's talking to you and you're sitting there like, it's respect. That's step number five, body language. But that also goes with mental health. I know a lot of people don't talk about it nowadays because people don't really know how to put it into words, but I feel like I can articulate it enough into, into words in the right manner to not get it misconstrued. With mental health, I've suffered from it my entire life, just like all of us have. We've all suffered with it. I don't care if you've lived the best life in the world, everybody has had their moment with mental health. And that is such a big factor because the way your mind thinks reflects everything about you. If you look at me right now, you have your own opinion of me. It might be good, it might be bad. But if we being real and we not hating, I don't think you will look at me and be like, ew, he da 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 Cause I sit here and I promote well-being. I like to promote better living. So with mental health, the things that I used to do when I used to be in that dark abyss and just super, super, super sad and just cannot get it out, like cannot function, I used to just drown in sorrow. So I would get, like I said at the very beginning of the video, I was a substance abuser. I cut it out. I had to get my life together. I got tired of living how I was living. I'm just one person out of the billions of people in the world. If I'm having one of those days, because not every day is jolly. What I do when my mind is starting to spiral, I have to like take a step back and reset. So whether that means like I literally will just go cook, I'll eat some food or I'll go to the gym. Something's got to allow me to reset or I might just put my phone down for a little bit. That's the main thing though. I'll put my phone down and I'll have to get back rooted. So I'll come back to reality in a little bit. But right now I'm going to go in here and I'm going to reset and I'm going to ground my feet so I can reset and get my stuff together because I'm not about to spiral and then potentially go to my old ways. Like we're not doing that. So with the mental health thing, it's good to talk about it, but to people that you truly, truly trust. And I know it's hard to even trust the soul in this world because I'm the same way. We all have a lot in common. What do I look like trusting you? Even family. I don't even trust some of my own family. You know what I'm saying? It happens. I think everybody should have at least one person that they can somewhat confide to with some type of emotion and have some type of emotional support. I know you might not be comfortable with it and that's okay. If you don't have anybody to talk to, I'm here for you. I'm gonna try my best that I can to provide what I can provide with the things that I've been through. So I've been to the, I've been to the point with mental health where I didn't wanna live no more and all of that other stuff, but I made it out and I can tell you it's not worth it. So it really goes into the routine and the exercise because once you're in a routine, all you know is routine, like you're on it every single day. Rule number six, step number six, try new things. Don't be afraid to go venture off and go mudding or go in the woods or go read a book, go to a coffee shop and study, like just try new things. That never hurts to try new things. I will always say that it never hurts to try something new. You don't know until you try it, so don't judge. Don't be so judgmental. Rule number seven. Don't argue with people. You got it. The only way that you should be able to argue with somebody is if you're directly being disrespected to your face. The comment section doesn't matter. What they say behind closed doors doesn't matter. What they say behind your back doesn't matter. Everything done in the dark will come to the light. I'm not perfect. You're not perfect. We've all done wrong in our lives. You pray about it. You pray to God. But you have to really truly believe if you want to be forgave, you can't just sit there and be like, please forgive me. No, you need to truly acknowledge that you're wrong and pray about it. But don't argue with people. It's a waste of your time, waste of your energy. You got it, bro. Whatever, I'm not arguing. Like, I'm so quick to say, you got it. As long as I'm not being disrespected, you got it. And how you go about the disrespect is how you are as a person. Me, I don't put myself in situations to get disrespected. So I stay out the way. Rule step numero eight. Be accountable for anything. Whatever it is that pertains to you, be accountable for it. You woke up late to work, be accountable. You forgot to do something, be accountable. Don't point the finger at anybody but yourself. You did the wrong, own up to it. That was my fault. Learn from it, grow from it, don't do it again. It's that simple. And I'm not talking about be accountable like if you're in a relationship and you're cheating. No, that's not, that's not what we're talking about. I'm saying being accountable in general, like in life itself. You know you got laundry that's sitting right there, right now, piled up in the corner, right? All right, man, I understand. 
We had bad days, bad weeks, bad months, bad years. Just go pick up the laundry, bro. It'll make you feel a little bit better up here, I promise you. One thing my chiropractor told me when I was younger, quick fact about me. When I was younger, three of my discs slipped out of my back, so I had to go to the chiropractor in high school. He said, you like to wash cars, right? I love to wash cars when I was younger. He said, is your room clean? But I, I was sad, that's why I would wash cars. My mental, my coping mechanism when I was younger, I didn't know it subconsciously was to go and clean cars because I didn't think about what I had going on. He said, when you come in your room, is it a mess? Is it clean? I was like, he was like, are there any clothes on the floor? I said, it's probably clothes on the floor, like dryer sheets, remotes, maybe my snack from last night. He's like, you got to work on that. Don't leave things laying around. It causes a cluster in your mind. So your room is a visual representation of who you are. You come in your room and it's blank, your mind must be blank. You come in your room and it's a whole lot of stuff everywhere, you got a lot going on. You come in your room and it's very elegant and you have like stuff all over the place, but it's like put together. You might got a little something good going on up top, but yes, so mental health, pick up your clothes, don't argue with people as well. Number nine, don't be so hard on yourself. Be accountable, focus on your mind, try new things, go to the gym, get the right sleep. But it sounds like a lot, but once you get in the hang of it, I promise you, you get in a step-by-step -step routine and you start trying these things day by day, working a little bit towards here each and every day. It doesn't happen overnight, but as you work towards it, it'll get better and better and better. But that being said, don't be so hard on yourself because I know people, I mean, I am people. But you'll beat yourself up about it all day, all week, all month. It's just because of one little thing. One small minor inconvenience just ruined everything for you for the day and for the week. That goes back to mental health. You got to be really strong up here and you got to learn yourself and be very truthful with yourself. So being accountable, it goes with every single step that I've named. Accountability has to go into all of these. Step numero 10 vitamins so i'm not the biggest 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 vitamin taker i'm not gonna sit here and just promote vitamins like crazy i just know for clear skin for step number one chlorophyll i drink chlorophyll every morning so you can drink it in a bottle or you can drink it as a shot i also take fish oil that strengthens like your nails and stuff like that i don't know a lot about vitamins to sit here and teach you about vitamins but i do take vitamins and i also take magnesium that helps me sleep i've been taking it for about two weeks now if you watch one of my latest videos i'm talking about i was gonna let you guys know how the magnesium did it did great i sleep like a bear no bullshit i sleep like a damn baby like my ass is knocked the fuck out. Magnesium is one of them ones for sure. If you want to get better sleep. And they say you don't take vitamins if you don't have a vitamin deficient in your body. But fuck, it's not going to hurt you. It's not like you're sitting here popping pills. You're popping a vitamin. It's a real live thing that's good for you. All right, dude, nigga, that's the real thing. Step number 11, prayer. You should be praying every day. Whatever you believe in, pray to it. I believe in God, Jesus Christ. I pray every day. I'm not gonna sit here and say I pray 20 times a day either. I make sure I pray over every meal. When I wake up, it's like a sandwich. When I wake up, I pray. When I go to sleep, I pray. Everything in between that gets eight, I pray over. I know I should pray more, but being real with y'all, I'm not gonna say you a fake story. I'm not gonna sit here and say, yes, I bow down on my knees every, every couple of hours of the day. No, I don't. I pray over my food and I give thanks. And one rule that I could put in there is manifestation and stuff in that and believing. But that just come, that's another topic for another day because I didn't truly sit there and write it out that, oh, I will be this, I will be that, or I am this, I am that. I truly believed in my mind and obsessed over it to the point to where if you told me that I wasn't successful, I couldn't hear you because it was just, it was just extra noise that I just really could not, I couldn't fathom it. I couldn't wrap my head around it to even hear what you're saying. Cause I, once I got in that mode of a routine, I literally would obsess and freak out over what I wanted to do for my life and how I wanted to become a better man, a better man and a better person. Manifestation can be rule number 12 if you would like it, but I would really say rule number 12 is obsession. Obsess over what you want. Obsess over not relationships. Obsess over what you want for yourself. And what you want for yourself, I'm not pertaining that to a person. I'm saying what you want for yourself in life. Do you want to look better? Do you want to feel better? Do you want to smell better? Do you want to eat better? Do you want to work out better? It's just so many different things that you can do in so many different stipulations. So when you obsess and you become up here, they're going to look at you like you're fucking crazy. Yeah, they're going to look at you like you're fucking crazy. But it doesn't matter. Because at the end of the day, you do what you need to do. That's all that matters. As long as you lay your head down on that pillow before you go to bed at night, 
and you know you tried your best today, even if it was only like 20%, but that's all you had in the tank. I'm not going to be the one to say, you got to do 100% every day. That's the goal, 100% every single day. But if you can't give that, I understand. So as soon as you lay your head down, as long as you know you actually tried and you didn't just sit around all day and just dwell on the day, make it count. This is how to realistically glow up. I hope you like it. If you want more, let me know. Welcome to my channel if you're new here. If you're a subscriber, welcome back. Welcome back to the crib. Thank you guys for listening. Thank you for tuning in. I hope you guys liked it. And let me know if you want more of these type of videos. Thank you for everything. I'll see you guys soon.